Hi, I'm Thomas Rainfuss. I'm a professional services consultant here at Amazon Web Services, specialized in Amazon Connect. Today, I'm going to show you how to deploy AWS Q&A Bot and integrate it with Amazon Connect to give you a multilingual AI-powered agent for Amazon Connect. First, I'll go through a quick introduction to AWS Q&A Bot and show it in action. Next, I'll show you how to deploy Amazon Connect and claim a phone number. Then I'll deploy the AWS QNA Bot solution using a CloudFormation template. Finally, I'll show you how to integrate the two and provide automatic answers to questions in multiple languages. QNA Bot is a multi channel, multi language conversational interface, a chatbot that responds to your customers' questions. The solution allows you to deploy a fully functional chatbot across multiple channels, including chat, voice, SMS, and Amazon Alexa. Today we're going to focus on voice and chat through Amazon Connect. Q&A Bot allows you to very quickly get started with a bot that can answer your customers' most common questions, providing a better customer experience and letting your customer service agents focus on more complex interactions. The Q&A Bot Content Designer lets you easily manage your questions and answers without any coding experience. And you have the option of using Amazon Kendra's intelligent search capabilities to search unstructured content to find the answers to the customer's question. You could, for example, let Kendra crawl your website's help section and return responses from it if a good match isn't found in the curated content. Let me show you how this works. I have a couple of questions here that I've imported previously. For example, answers to what is Q&A Bot and how do I use Q&A Bot? We can add additional questions by clicking Add. So we'll type in an item ID demo 001 and add in a question. Can Q&A Bot integrate with Amazon Connect? Let's add in an answer as well. Saying yes, Q&A Bot can easily integrate with Amazon Connect as well as many other channels of communication. Now, we have a built-in test client for Q&A Bot here. So we go, can go down here to the Q&A Bot client option to test that. And in here, we can test these questions. For example, what is Q&A Bot? Or how do I use Q&A Bot? Or a can Q&A Bot integrate with Amazon Connect? Now, if we'd ask it something that it doesn't know the answer to, like, what is my favorite color? It's going to return a message saying, you stumped me. Sadly, I don't know how to answer your question. Now this is where you could have a fallback and use Amazon Kendra to go search a website or some other repository to find the answer there. Now that we've had a quick introduction to Q&A Bot, let's see how we can deploy Amazon Connect and integrate it with this solution. First, we'll start by provisioning an Amazon Connect instance. For the purposes of this demo, I'll keep all the default settings. Let's get started. Let's create an instance. Let's type in a name here. Amazon Connect Q&A Bot Demo. We could create an administrator, but we'll skip that for now. We'll have incoming and outgoing calls, and you can customize your data storage, but we'll keep the defaults. create instance. And I'll pause this while it's setting up the Amazon Connect instance. There, it's done. Let's get started. Now we can go over to the left hand side here and uh, claim a phone number. You can now go over here and claim a phone number. Now you can use both toll-free and DID numbers, but for this demo we'll use a DID number. 
So we'll select a phone number from the United States and then just select one of the numbers at random. And type in a description. So we'll just call this main number. That'll do. And I uh, won't connect this to a contact flow just yet. We'll import one later that we'll connect it to. There we go. We have a number. Now that we have Amazon Connect all set up, we'll go ahead and deploy Q&A Bot into this account. I have now gone to the Q&A Bot Solutions page, aws.amazon.com slash solutions slash implementations slash aws dash Q&A Bot. I'll put that link in the description below. And on this page, we can click Launch in the AWS console to deploy the CloudFormation template. Next. And we'll name the stack something. Q&A bot. I'll put my email address down here. This is to get the admin password emailed to me for Q&A bot. Encryption. For production, you'll want to have this set to encrypted, but for development environment, you can set this to unencrypted. You'll then run lower cost servers and save yourself some money. Now here you have the languages that you want to support in Amazon Connect. And if you have a look here, it'll show you other languages that you can put in. So let's put in German as well, for example. Now these languages are only for voice. If you're only using chat, you don't have to add the languages here. Next. And we'll leave the rest of these setting as default. So next again. And check these boxes and click Create Stack. Now this is going to take a little while, so I'm going to pause this until it's done. There, the stack completed successfully. And while we were waiting, I got an email with a temporary password to sign in. You just click the link from the email and enter the provided password. And uh, type in a new password. And we're now logged in to the Q&A bot designer. Now that we are in the content designer, we can go to this menu and import some sample questions. We expand examples extensions here and we'll just load the Connect Wizard Q&A questions. There we go. If we go in here and select Edit here again, we can see that we now have a number of questions imported. So for example, if we say, speak to an agent, we can go and edit that question. We have a number of different ways we can say that. We can say, speak to an agent, agent, can I speak to a representative, etc. And they all respond with, okay, let me write you to a representative who can assist you. And at the same time, we set a session attribute here. We set next action to agent. We'll look a bit more at that in a bit. Now we'll also go in here and we'll select settings and under enable multi-language support. Let's set that to true because we want the bot to translate other languages automatically. And save. Now we'll just go in here and select connect and we'll just step through this wizard. This explains how you integrate connect with Q&A bot. 
we'll just click through these screens and download the connect flow. We have already added a phone number and we have added some questions for testing. We'll now go back to the stack and we'll click into the stack here and go to outputs. We can see that our Lex V2 bot name is QA bot underscore QA bot. So if we go to Amazon Connect now and we go under contact flows, we can choose to add Lex bots. And this is for permission. So we'll choose QA bot, QA bot, and the live alias. And now we can go into Amazon Connect. And we can go to Contact Flows and create Contact Flow. And here is where we can import that Contact Flow we saved earlier. We'll click here and choose to import and select the file we downloaded earlier. There. And we'll click publish. Now we can go in and point the phone number to this new flow. So we go into phone numbers and we select the phone number that we claimed earlier. And now we can select the Q&A sample multilingual flow. There. And save. We're now all set and we can make some test calls to test this out. Let's go have a look at the contact flow again. I've made a small modification to the sample flow to add German. So the only thing new here is that I've added a fourth option that sets the voice to Vicky a German voice, and sets the prompt to German prompt. Fragen Sie mich etwas. I've done this because I didn't study Spanish in high school. I took a bit of German. So let's dial in and test this. Hello. Welcome to Q&A Bot. For English, press 1 or stay on the line. For Spanish, press 2. For French, press 3. For German, press 4. Ask me a question. What is the meaning of life? The meaning of life, the universe, and everything is 42. Ask another question or say return to main menu. Representative. Okay. Let me route you to a representative who can assist you. Thank you for calling. Your call is very important to us and will be answered in the order it was received. Now what happened here was that I asked What's the meaning of life? Q&A bot responded with 42, which is one of the responses we imported earlier. Then I asked to speak to an agent, which routed the call to a queue to be handled by an agent. Now it did this by going into the stored questions. Now if you remember, we were in here earlier, and if you say agent or representative, it responds, but it also sets a session attribute called next action. To agent. And if we look in our contact flow here, we check to see if we got a response from Q&A bot. And then we check an attribute. Now, if this Lex attribute here called next action is set to agent, then we route the call to the basic queue over here. You can modify this to route to any queue. So you can have a number of different questions in Q&A bot that could route to a number of different queues. Or you could use this attribute you return to control some other custom logic. 
Now let's try the multilingual feature. Let's try speaking some German. Hello. Welcome to Q&A Bot. For English, press 1 or stay on the line. For Spanish, press 2. For French, press 3. For German, press 4. Fragen Sie mich etwas. Was ist der Sinn des Lebens? Der Sinn des Lebens, des Universums und alles ist 42. Stellen Sie eine andere Frage oder sagen Sie zurück zum Hauptmenü. So now, I asked the very same question, what's the meaning of life, but in German, and got the same response back, but translated into German. By setting the voice to German, here, and setting this attribute, set language attribute, we're sending an attribute to Lex, telling it that we're speaking German. What we're saying is automatically translated from German into English. So even though the answer in designer here is only in English, it will find the German to English translation, what's the meaning of life, and it'll return the corresponding answer. So what's the meaning of life returns the meaning of life, the universe and everything is 42, but that will in turn be translated back into German before being returned. Now if you don't want to use machine translation for a specific question and instead you want to provide a specific translation, you can add a bit of logic to the response using handlebar syntax. So let's go back into the meaning of life question. We can add some handlebar syntax to this response. This code checks to see if the language is set to German, DE. So in this case, I'm just going to replace the response with hello, just to make it very easy for you to hear that we're getting this manual translation instead of a machine translation. So the default language settings work as you might expect. If the language is not set to DE, if it's any other language, we'll return the previous response. That'll be valid for English as well as, for example, Spanish. So if you call in and select Spanish, it would translate the response back to Spanish. Let's update this and try again. Hello. Welcome to Q&A Bot. For English, press 1 or stay on the line. For Spanish, press 2. And we'll just press 4 here. For French, press 3. For German. Fragen Sie mich etwas. Was ist der Sinn des Lebens? Hello. Stellen Sie eine andere Frage oder sagen Sie zurück zum Hauptmenü. And there we go. This time, machine translation wasn't used. Since German was detected as the language, we got the manually translated answer back instead. Now, finally, let's check out the chat experience as well. If you go into Amazon Connect, to the dashboard, you can click Test Chat. In here, click Test Settings and select the Q&A bot multilingual contact flow. Click Apply. Now we can test the chat experience. And this is going to be the same as the voice experience. So let's type in what's the meaning of life. Let's try that in German too. There we go. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out my recent blog and the AWS Q&A Bot Solutions page.